All right, let's do this. Good afternoon. Today is May 12th, 2022. 2000 tick chart E-mini S&P 500 futures market. 21 EMA here in blue. 9 EMA here in cyan. 200 EMA in magenta. And we have a MACD indicator here at the bottom. But we use technical analysis, price action, overall market context in order to place our trades. Take a second, real quick. Like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know exactly when these videos drop, and let's get right into it for the day. It was a solid trading day for me. I finished 3-0 and for the day, found most of my better trades towards the end of the day, but we're going to get right into it here and talk through some of these setups. As we normally do, we mark a level of resistance here at overnight highs and a level of support down here at overnight lows. Prices are trending downwards. They're consolidating for a little bit within this range. Now the market opens here and as not to confuse too many people, we have this short term trend that's working down with the break. We're looking for that new low. Additionally, we have a new high with the first entry long, second entry long, if there's a trigger above this bar. We have prices trending nicely below this nine EMA. MACD indicator is showing bearish momentum. Prices had gone up one tick before reversing. I put my stop limit order one tick below the signal bar. I was in this trade I entered and I was out for a scalp. Now what I was looking at here was prices were trending down with a break move to a new low. So I thought, okay, this downtrend has played out. I wanna see how prices are gonna react here at EMA. We have a new low for this swing here with the first entry short, second entry short with a little bit of room down to the support level. If you're looking to take a second entry short, you could potentially enter on this bar. If I remember correctly, prices tried going up and then reversed and came strongly pushing down. Additionally, you have a nice close below this nine EMA. I just marked it as aggressive. I didn't like it in the moment. Additionally, you see the MACD starting to cross over into bullish territory. I, I didn't want to mess with that. And so I stayed away from that. It's a scalp, it works. And as we continue to make a new low down here, that's when I started to expand on this downtrend that we had in play. So then I had this bigger one in play with a break, move to a new low. So I'm not looking for any shorts at this time. So prices then create another new low here. I didn't have it drawn in, but we have to expand the channel once we get more of this price action. So we have this new low with the first entry short, second entry short that fails. You have a second entry short that triggers below this doji bar and then prices come back up. The bar is fairly big, 24 ticks, but you know, you could enter there. It's a little bit aggressive. We had a break of this trend looking for a new low, but you're trapping a lot of shorts into here. And where are people putting their stops one tick below this signal bar here? So if you kind of play it that way, you could get in and out for a scalp and potential runner, depending on how you play that. Now, this is the area of the chart that we just talked about. As we continue on here, prices push above 21 EMA, above 200 EMA before reversing. Initially, we anticipate for prices to reach back up to the overnight highs or at least test that this region, but we don't get that. Prices again push down below 200 EMA, come back up to test it again, and then continue pushing down. This was the larger downtrend I had in play. Prices came down to a new low here. We had a first entry short, second entry short, coming directly off 21 EMA, but I decided to stay out of this because I saw the MACD start to cross over. Additionally, depending on how you had it drawn, we did have somewhat of a short-term uptrend at play here. So you'd be shorting that short-term trend and you want to try and avoid doing stuff like that. For those that enter the trade, I think you might have gotten trapped here. 425 down to 225. So you would have missed it by one tick before prices reversed. Now I saw this trap happening based on the MACD indicator showing me that prices were reversing. After I saw this nice bullish bar coming off these overnight lows, I took a long position position here and I scalped out. And as prices were coming up, I wanted to catch the stops of people that were trying to pick tops. So we have a new swing here with a first entry short, second entry short. If there's a trigger below this bar and there is, prices never close below this nine EMA. Immediately reverse, I catch the stops, ride the momentum up for a scalp. I did mark it somewhat aggressive just because we were going long into the 200 EMA here. The safer thing to do was to wait and get more of a confirmation that prices were going to work up. But I like this trade because we did have a nice bullish rally here. And as prices try pushing down twice, you see the stems. We never get that close below 9 EMA. Prices come back up. Now, based on some of the trades that I take in the past few days, I was hesitant about going long at the highs of this channel here. Plus, we're really far from the 9 EMA. So I was looking to catch stops. We had the swing down here with a first entry short. Prices come up. Second entry short that 
triggers just below this bar before prices reverse. Now I did have my stop limit order in place here, ready to catch if prices pushed up right away, but they didn't. As buyers and sellers enter the market, we get a little bit more equilibrium in this area. And I was hesitant about going long, trying to catch stops here. I think when I look back at it, it probably was a, a trade worth taking. The signal bar that we'd be entering on is very bullish. If we had a bearish signal bar at play, probably be a little bit more hesitant to go long there. But with such a strong push coming from these overnight lows, pushing strongly above 21 EMA, 9 EMA, and prices cutting through this 200 EMA, that probably would have been a, a risk worth taking, but I ended up pulling my trade. I didn't want to go long there. Now we do get a break of this trend that's working up with a short-term trend working down. This is the new high. First entry long, prices come down to the EMA. Second entry long if there's a trigger above this bar, but I, I don't like taking second entry longs above these types of bearish signal bars. But when we got this one, prices tried pushing down again, came back up, nice push and finish. This was a, a trend that I would have gone long on. I didn't end up taking it, but I saw it in the moment. Again, I've been very focused on trying to catch the stops and learning that strategy. I'm trying to integrate both strategies here and, and, and work on taking those second entry longs, second entry shorts, but I've had a lot of success with this catching stop strategy. So I missed this trade, but that's kind of how I analyzed it in the moment. So the short-term trend was working up. We have a break and push to a new high. So this uptrend has played out now. We're looking to see how our price is gonna react at the EMA once they come down. We're not looking to take any more longs here. This uptrend has already played out. We wanna see how prices are gonna react at EMA. And you see what happens as prices start to push down, we get a close below EMA. We have the most recent swing right here with a first entry long. Prices come down second entry long right here as people are still trying to go long, but my bias at the time was very bearish. MACD is also showing bearish momentum. I had my entry one tick below the signal bar and as prices came down, I got in and out for the scalp fairly quickly. 175 down to 975. That's two points. Prices tick down, I believe, to 9.50. So that's a 10 point move before prices reverse. Just enough for a scalp there. I saw that the nine EMA here crossed over this 21 EMA. I guess the only hesitancy would be you're going short into the lows of this channel. Now, initially, I did have this short term trend at play. We had a break and moved to a new low. So this downtrend here has played out. After we had this new low, we have first entry short, second entry short off this 21 EMA. But I, I just think it's a little bit too early to go short on a second entry short. We just had a new low. Prices could easily trap you short and then reverse on you. Now it works this time. This was probably a better setup that I would have wanted to take because we had the new low form. And as prices make another new low right here, that's when we draw this bigger channel. We have something bigger at play here. We have this new low with the first entry short, second entry short. A lot of stems here as prices are rejected off the 21 EMA. This is an aggressive one you could take. I just didn't like that. I was shorting directly into the support. We have a few overlapping bars here. Nine EMA was thinning out. Additionally, MACD indicator was showing a possible reversal as prices were going to push back up. So I didn't want to enter there. For those that do, you definitely get a two point scalp before prices reverse. MACD showing that that reversal. Prices are respecting this 200 EMA as it's working up. So that's why I saw that as an aggressive trade. You see 21 EMA is flattening out. 9 EMA is also flattening out as prices are oscillating up and down. We definitely have a range in here as prices break out. I had a new swing here off this 21 EMA with the first entry short, second entry short that triggered. I was looking to catch stops by entering one tick above the signal bar. That's where my entry was going to be. But much like with the dilemma I was facing with back here, I was hesitant again to try and go long into the highs of this channel. So I ended up taking my order out. Prices were oscillating just a little bit more more before they push up and you get the scalp. So another scenario where I could have entered and I would have scalped out fine. This was the same way. I could have entered there and I would have scalped out fine. So I'm going to continue to keep an eye on that, but that's at least what I saw today when entering at the highs or lows of the channels. You know, maybe if we're in a continuous uptrend, it's okay to enter something like this, but if we're going counter trend, an area like this might not be the best place to short into the lows because prices are continuously moving up. You have a lot more leeway and space for prices to push up. But anyway, prices continue up. We're looking for prices to reach the overnight highs here. The short-term trend was working up break, looking for a new high. And we got the new high here with a nice little bearish bar that I knew it was going to suck people into this trade. People were going to try going short here. What a lot of people don't realize though, is look at the MACD. The MACD is losing that bearish momentum as we get this strong push above EMA 21 and 9 EMA. Looking for a potential crossover to happen 
right here. This new low first entry short by one tick. Prices come up and they tick down for a few ticks before prices reverse. I had my entry one tick above this bearish bar here and prices came up and scalped real quick before prices reversed. I like taking that trade there, but once we got this new high, I'm hesitant to take any more trades. We did have this break two legs to a new high shooting above these overnight highs before prices push back down below the EMA. Now I was looking to take a failure here, a, a failed second entry long, but prices never came back up to the 21 EMA. They continue to fall. And as prices continue to move back down, we had a swing here with a first entry long. Prices come back down looking for a second entry long to trigger. Second entry long triggered. My entry bar was one tick below this signal bar right here. Prices came down and I got out for a scalp. Unfortunately, runner was stopped out, but that was another win before watching prices continue to oscillate. Now I did, I had a different short-term trend line in play here, but then once we continue to make new lows and then prices came back up to retest this area right here, that's when I drew in a bigger trend. I'm actually, I'm just noticing this now we have a new high with a first entry long prices pull down second entry long. If there's a trigger above this bar and as people get sucked into this trade, you could put your entry one tick below this signal bar right here. Plenty of room down to the lows catching stops as prices come down, you'd be in this trade and prices continue down for a scalp and potential runner. I think you would have gotten a nice run out of that. So I didn't see that in the moment, but I actually really like catching stops right there. Notice how prices are pushing down below the 21 EMA, 9 EMA, and 200 EMA. Additionally, if we back up just a second, you see a loss in momentum. There's about to be a crossover here as prices start picking up that bearish momentum. That would have been a great trade to take. But this was the last trade that I saw for today as prices continue working down. I counted off this high first entry long prices come all the way down second entry long that triggers above this bar really so where are people putting their stops one tick below and as prices come down you'd be in and out for a scalp now this bar came back to get out my runner unfortunately but then prices continued down just a little bit further so i should probably move that arrow there that was really it i was done trading by the by this time i stuck around for the market just a little bit prices were oscillating up and down and you'll see as prices continue to work down we had an overshoot down here at the bottom and overshoots generally lead to a generation of momentum to the opposite end of the channel. So we had an overshoot here. Most likely prices are going to push out the other way. For those that want to see, we have a break move to a new low to test these overnight lows a third time. One, two, three areas before prices push back up above the EMA. So my bias is long at this point. New low here, first entry short, second entry short that triggers below this bar. I would have had my entry one tick above the signal bar. Prices continue on. You're getting nice stems rejection off the nine EMA. And as prices come up, you would have been in this trade. Prices held just a second before they continue on. You would have been out for a scalp. By that time, it's 1130. I'm done trading for the day. That's the end of the analysis. But we still get a lot of price action the rest of the day. Continue to go through, look to see where this catching stop strategy would work. I'm sure if I went in here, I'd find a number of trades. You know, even just with a second entry indicator that I have in play here, you see this too. There's a second entry short that took place. If people are catching stops one tick above the signal bar, you see how prices rally straight through that and you get a scalp and potential runner in play. So post analysis, you're able to recognize stuff like that. What matters is in the moment, bar by bar analysis, being able to spot that with your eye. There's the new low with the first entry short prices are coming up. Second entry short that takes place. Additionally, I guess somehow it's marking a second entry long. This is the new high first entry long price come back second entry long and your entry will go one tick above the signal bar and as prices come up, you're in and out of that trade for a scalp. So it's trades like that you have to be able to recognize and you only get better at this stuff if you're going back, you're reviewing the charts, if you're going bar by bar and literally analyzing the trades as they are. But regardless, I hope that you guys had an awesome trading day. I look forward to another video tomorrow and until next time, thanks for watching.